All right, guys. So I'm still alive. I'm still alive. I'm here and uh, working technically. I'm doing some Uber. Miami Airport on the waiting lot. I'm in queue 31. And then on green, um, six, uh, six out of ten. I mean, this car is a hybrid, so well, I've been working since I became a father. I eight months ago I started doing Uber part time, and then on November it became full time. You know, I was working at it, so this kind of little just you know second follow continuation or follow up to the monitor okay so it's the same monitor i got i don't even know the name right now i'll put the picture i'll edit it stuff in the on the screen you know how much price i got it for and how much is going now so i'm sorry if i put them in so you mean the xbox i have an xbox series x on the on the, on the car s s sorry the X actually blow the fuse out, so I mean, it, it, the Series X too much power for the outlet. So, what what am I using as a power source? Let me see. Okay, I can't go there, so let me go here. All right, so I'm using this little box. I'll put the link. It has uh, four USB connectors and uh, two two regular connectors. So this is the Xbox and this is a quick charger for the phone. Okay, so I'll put some picture there so you can see it. So I have this mount too for a monitor. It's a tablet mount, phone mount. Okay, so I have uh, the Xbox on the back seat technically. Uh, let me see if I can do like a. It's right here, right, right well, below, below me. And the cables are going over, you know, to the power, coming all the way to the top. So I have the HDMI, and then the. This is the USB C from the Xbox Series S. Why the Xbox Series S? Because this this little brick there can only go to 200 watts and the Xbox Series S is excellent on power use, you know, usage. So, I mean, I just plug in the monitor and here's, I'm gonna show you the, the monitor. The monitor is doing great. I mean, uh, I mean, it's doing great. So display settings, there you go, details. So you're not gonna get 4K 120 the HDR, everything is coming out red, but I mean, I know it's HDR. Let me see if I can buy mode. Okay, so everything is on, so it's working. I mean, it's working. I'm getting 120, so let me show you. I'm gonna boot up Fortnite. On the Xbox Series S, when I first plug it in, it wasn't showing, so I mean, if you go to a YouTube tutorial and look up how to force it to HDMI and stuff like that, try to do it because I know, I know the the TV can do it. The TV can go 120, 1440p, the monitor, and it's working great. I mean, let me go over right here. Let me pull it back a little bit. I mean, so. I'm just, you know, the reason I wanted the Xbox in the car is because, you know, I used to watch the Pin My Ride and then we used to put like a TV, like a TV and a, a Xbox or a GameCube or something like that. So, we go settings. Where's the settings at? All right. Here. Settings. Okay, so... There you go. Uh, 120 FPM mode is on. So, you know, it's working. So it's 120 working. And this is doing, uh, let me see right there. 60 FPS. So 120 mode is on. Let's try it out. Let's try it out. So let's do, uh, 
Let's do a little quick drop. What is it, Butter Royale? Let's go. This is a video. I'll skip it. Yeah, I'm skipping it. All right. So, how do we do this? Okay, so it's just solo. Solo. Let's do solo. So I was having a problem when I connected to your Xbox Series S because I was trying to do Halo. And Halo wasn't showing the 120. But I don't know man, it's just working now. It's it's kinda it's kinda tricky, you know. You just have to mess around with the settings. There's multiple videos how to do it. So let's see. Let's see if I get the 120 in gameplay mode. Should be 120. It's activated. Alright, so I mean what is the show? What's the FPS counter at? Oh there it goes right here. So right there, it's 120. I mean and then, then this is brightness all the way. Uh, I ha I haven't. It hasn't happened to me yet on the Series S. I guess since I use less power, uh, the brightness will not go down. But on the Xbox Series S, when it was using too much pro uh, power, uh, their brightness will drop all the way down. But I mean, it's, you know, I, it's a rainy day right here in the parking lot on the Uber lot on the airport. But I mean. It is good. It's good. I mean, let's do a little drop. Oh, there you go. It did. There you go. It just did it right now. If you want to avoid the brightness drop, that's a brightness drop right there. Uh, you just use the plug in the. The, the USB-C straight to a outlet with a little power supply that power brick the little little block to bring use that but I mean it does that it does that uh, but I mean you know it's 120 I mean you just have to try multiple games try the settings it wasn't working for me in the past so I mean Try it out. I mean, try it out. Okay, so let me just show you Halo Infinite Home just to make it quicker. I mean, the HDR colors and everything. I don't know if obviously you can't see it, but I mean, it looks good. I mean, it looks really good. The brightness is good. You're just gonna have to issue with a little brightness drop once in a while if you're not using it. If you if you use plug it in it straight for the Xbox and the Xbox is not giving enough power, it's gonna do that. If you don't wanna do that, you just have to set it up, you know, correctly. Uh, let's go to the Halo Infinite. I mean, I mean, it varies by game, but I mean, once you get it working, uh, it was working on the Xbox Series S. I don't know why I couldn't get the 120 mode on. But I mean, the screen is beautiful. So for the small side screen, I might as well just play 60 frames, 1440p. However you like. Uh, no issue so far. I mean, that's the only issue I have. Brightness drop, and it just did it right now in the video. Uh, but uh, yeah, on the Xbox Series S, it was giving me some issues. I don't know if it was the cable. I was using a regular cable. I was, I think I was using the the regular cable that comes with so try to use the the xbox uh, the K, the hdmi that came with the xbox the 2.1 hdmi but uh let's go let's go to settings okay on settings right here video right there i mean you just have to reset the game but uh if, if it doesn't come out, if it this doesn't come out, 
if it only e30 and 60 and 120 doesn't come out try to go to system settings uh, display and then I think is it here no it's not here here this you try to force it to HDMI and then put it to auto first do HDMI then all the settings gonna switch and then you switch the resolution 120 if it doesn't do it you know I just want to touch it because it's working I have it working you know I don't want to go through the hustle again of getting it correct but uh, uh yeah go to the settings right here force it to HDMI then on HDMI put it manually and then put it to automatic later automatic is recommended but if it, automatic doesn't pick it up the 120 1440p then put it manually and then when you put it manually set it up set it up auto and then it should, it should stay you know it's kind of like a one way to force it so i don't want to make this video longer i mean i'm gonna put the link for the monitor for the the tablet holder and for this 200 watt uh the 200 watt this is great you know i got i got a fast charger for the phone and the xbox i can remove the the fast charger for the phone and plug in through those hdmi but those four hdmi i mean they're really really low voltage really low voltage i mean super slow i mean i mean i i, I can't i can't charge my phone with those things you know it, it's just gonna take super long so i mean i mean tomorrow is great i don't have no complaint i think it was a great, great investment when I finish, I just, you know, when I finish working and I'm going home, I just, you know, I leave the mount, I unplug the cables, I leave the cables in there, right there, just hanging. I pull out my my sleeve cover, I put it on the sleeve cover, and I just take it home. You know, I don't leave it inside the car. You know, just, it, I mean, it's working great. I mean, I mean, I always wanted a, a video game system. And look at me, I'm here in spot. Look, I mean, let me see. You see, I'm here, I'm waiting for, for a ride, you know. Uh, Uber Green, 6 out of 10, is still there. And then uh, Uber X, uh, you know, 16 out of 20 cars. So, I mean, I like doing the, the airport runs. I don't have to be running around wasting gas mindlessly, you know, just waiting for a ride. I'd rather just, you know, come here. Play some Xbox, chill, relax, and then when that phone start ringing, we know when the flights start coming in, uh, I get to pick, you know, I cherry pick my ride. So, I mean, I'm I'm still alive. I'm sorry if I haven't put no more videos. Just letting you know, the monitor is 100% worth it. If you don't mind the uh, the uh, the brightness drop, you know. It happens, but obviously I know why it's happening because I have it, the USB-C connected to the Xbox and then the little, this little 200 watts for HDMI ports, they're not going to power up in design of power to keep the brightness up all the time. But I mean, I mean, if I really wanted it, I just put the HDMI to the brick and little block, you know, and put it in there. But then, you know, I don't have my phone with a fast, quick charger, you know. I need a quick charge, I need a phone, you know, I'm working through the phone, so I need the phone, always 100%, you know, so, the point is, I mean, I'm, I'm happy, you know, uh, the Xbox Series S will blow up the fuse, it's too much power, it's over 200 watts, on gameplay, it will navigate the main menu, but uh, it, it will blow up the fuse, I already did, so, <laughs> you know, I had to put new fuse, because, and, and shout out to Jay Nifigo for letting me test it with a Series S, his Series S. I, I tested out with a Series S and it was working. So then, you know, I just got a Series S. So, I mean, I was not really an Xbox Series S uh, believer. But uh, Xbox Series S is for the, you know, I mean, look it up. You know, the power power usage is really low. So if you don't have like a plug-in into your car, 
just get those Amazon with 200 watts and you know from a 12 volt to 200 watts and it's working here you go I just got out right here uh, nah I'm not doing it hell nah I'm waiting for the next ride you know it's just like that you know I cherry pick my rides and then uh, you know 30 minutes for $14 nah I'd rather wait for a better one you know I'm not making this any longer you know signing out I mean uh, let me see Fortnite still nice there you see I probably haven't died probably a butt match but uh I mean it looks great I mean it looks great so you know 120 is working 1440p but obviously you know if you have your Xbox series as might as well just leave it 1440p 60 frames but oh, I just wanted to put it 120 so you guys can see it does work 120 brightness is great audio volume wise is so so whatever you know I mean it's okay but uh here's another solution you, know, you get an aux cable is it this thing aux cable you can plug it in here uh, where is it at? Oh my god. You can plug it in there. You can plug it in there. Or, if not, you know, just use your headset on your mic. Right here in the car, I can just plug it in there and, you know, use uh, the whole car volume and stuff. So, thank you for watching. Sorry for making this video long. If you're thinking of buying a portable monitor, go ahead. It's worth it 100%.